Hello, Kenyans, dear Kenyans, fellow Kenyans. Honorable Moses Kuria here. To wish all of you a very happy New Year 2022. Happy to be alive and to be here talking to you now. I've had my fair share of troubles with my health uh, in the year that is just coming to a close. Uh, but I'm proud and I'm happy that I'm here today to tell Kenya that my health is improving. I am on the path to recovery. And although 2021 was a challenging year, I'll bounce back and I'll be well in the year 2022. So I've been going through my medication and through medical attention here in Dubai. I plan to be back home 2022 to resume my duties. And I hope that I'll pray to God that I'll be healthy and fit, and as fit as a butcher's dog, to be able to resume my duties and to work for the good of the nation. Very grateful to Kenyans for starting with me in prayers, to my family for starting with me through very difficult times, to my people of Gatulu South, for never losing faith in me, even when I've been away for all this time. And for my colleagues in Parliament, and the leadership of Parliament, under the Parliamentary Service Commission, very special thank you to Speaker Justin Muturi for the support that the Parliamentary Service Commission has extended to me, uh, that has seen me uh, being able to uh, receive the best medical treatment that I can uh, as much as possible. In the year coming, I want to pray for peace, to ask all that we be peaceful as a country. We have a wonderful country. If you are out of this country for the time I have been out, it's when you realize you have a beautiful country, we should cherish it. We should always remember that, ask yourself, if you are given a chance to be born in another country, would you still be, choose to be born in Kenya? I personally, even if I'm given five times to be born again, I will choose to be born a Kenyan because we have a great country, we are a great people, we are a warm people, and we are a country that can be actually the many people would, would want, would pray that they be born or they belong to a country known as Kenya. As we move to this coming year, 2022, we are going to have general elections and it's never easy time. Personally, I have been involved in all presidential elections within the multi-party era since 1992. So for the years that I have been involved in this kind of elections, I think we have one of the most challenging this particular year. There is a possibility that it will be divided, but we can choose as Kenyans to make this to be the most um, the most uh, peaceful and the most unifying election and the one that is going to mark a difference. We don't need any laws, we don't need any statutes, we don't need to be forced by anyone to be peaceful, to behave well, and most important, to accept the results. So that winners are going to be congratulated by losers and together, whether you won or you lost, we fought together as a country. And to all the people who are looking for elective seats, presidential elections especially, I want to tell them, Kenyans love you a lot. Kenyans love you, Raila Odinga. Kenyans love you, William Ruto. Kenyans love you, Musaria Mudabadi. Kenyans love you, Mus uh, Justin Muturi. Kalonzo Musioka, Gideon Moy. But Kenyans don't love you enough to die for you. It is not enough. No Kenyan is sat prepared, no matter how much they love you, to die for you. So please be advised accordingly that if it is between you and peace and the future of our children, Kenyans will choose peace and the future of our children over you. So please don't be misguided for one uh, moment. Let us have a peaceful election, winners to be congratulated, 
Rosas to accept that they have lost, and we are going to have another chance for those who lose to make another another effort to to be elected. I would want to see a lot of Kenyans, especially youth. I want to see a lot of youth elected next year. I want to see a lot of women take up leadership positions. I especially want to see a lot of professionals. They always say politics is a dirty game, and sure enough. They leave it to people who can be able to undertake that, that again. So I want to tell professionals, you don't have to fear. Don't sit on the sidelines. Come and offer yourself for seats. And Kenyans by now, they are clever people. They are more intelligent than we were 30 years ago when we started this multi-party experiment. So youth, women, professionals, please come forward and offer yourself for elections. Let us also respect our choices, our parties. Let us respect everybody's choice of association, irrespective of who you want to associate with. That, that is what we fought for, what we fought for multi partisan To have a multi-party culture, we need to fight all this way, go to the streets, share the blood of our compatriots, so that we can have a, you know, a, a one-party state. Let us fight for the space of our political parties, of our associations, of our freedom of thought, freedom of expression, freedom of association. Let us not see people suffer like what my brother Dennis Itumbe is going through simply because of his uh, principles or his stand. I condemn uh, people who torture Dennis Itumbe and who took him through that ordeal. Let us respect everybody, this party or that party, small party or big party. This alliance or that alliance, Azimio or Hasla, whichever coalition you belong or OKA, let us be, respect people's choices and we can differ in terms of our opinions, but it does not mean that we have become enemies. Finally, I really hope that we get a clear winner. I have seen my, my colleagues in Parliament fight, very unfortunate, the fights that I've seen this week in Parliament over the political parties bill. But I wish that bill could go a step further. And I want to ask both sides to consider that we also put some amendment. I cannot do it now because I'm away. That if you do not garner 60% or more of the presidential votes, if you can have 50 plus 1, you will form government. That is what we have, and we have to safeguard that. And losers have to accept that somebody has won. But because of where we are, fragile as a country, I would want to see a change in the law, such that if you do not garner 60% or more, you have to form a government of national unity for a period of five years. Because if we don't do this, I fear for our beloved country, Kenya. So if you want to form a government by yourself, please be ready to garner more than 60% of the votes. Otherwise, if you get 50 plus 1, up to 60, please be ready to accommodate even the people you have defeated so that we bring Kenyans together, we don't fight, we don't divide our people, and we safeguard the country for the future generations. As I intend, sana na nawatakia mwaka mwema ambao upo na mafanikio, amani na faraja. Asante.